Richie, happy birthday. That's a great way to celebrate three straight wins. No, I think when you get to 42, you, I'm sick of people reminding him it's his birthday today. You're just trying to get on with it and obviously concentrate on the game. Um, in terms of performance, it was OK. It was OK. I think our support was a fantastic because every time we moved it with a little bit of tempo in the first half, then we, we made chances. I thought the atmosphere in the ground was, was, was excellent. And we have a lot of potential to build this club forward and take it forward and be, and be successful. Um, but in terms of our performance level, it was... Again, it was tough because I have to take me out to the players. We've not worked on anything Thursday, Friday because in in Mark Cooper's last four games, he changed shape four times, which is obviously difficult anyway, but we would have had a rough idea of what shape and, and what way he would have gone about it. You know, Phil's gone in and, and we, what we don't do is overload the players' information and then it turns out something different. So we just trusted the players to just go on and obviously if we need to change anything during, our, in, during the game, then that's our job. But the players just... At the end, I didn't mind it being a bit of a basketball match because I think, you know, we've got pace and power in our team and we create chances. We could have scored a lot more today and I think we was at 60%. I thought Paul Smith's goal last Saturday was yeah. special. Was that even better, wasn't it, no, today? I think to, on Saturday, sometimes when you strike through them, they can go anywhere. And even though they go in the top corner, your skill level, your meaning of it is pretty tough. It can go in the bottom corner. And go in the, but he meant that. That was like, obviously, he meant the one last week. Um, you know, but that's an angle. He's, he's obviously put the bend on it. Um, and listen, he's... He has the potential to be the best player in the league. His, um, his injuries have obviously frustrated him this season, but let, let's finish the season strongly with him. Um, manage his minutes so we don't have nothing reoccurring. But then um, let's bring him back next year, firing him, because, like I say, he has the potential to be the best in the league. And young Will Soturio is playing with, like, somebody with a point to prove. Um, again, he was, he was effective at times. He was in and out of the game today. Um, I don't think he was his best performance, but... When, you, when you're scoring goals, obviously his confidence is high. I think he's, he's took to me. Um, I definitely took to him. Um, so, uh, like I say, I think all of Drinan's not scored today. He was um, excellent. Theo Archibald run his socks off. Again, very, very effective. And Harry Smith comes on and, and really takes a, brings the game back to us in the last 15, 20 minutes. So, um, again, we've got front players that, that really affect the game. And another clean sheet. Positive. Again, Viggs for me is... He's, he's performing really, really well, but also good for the two centre half, the two full backs, and also Hector. We started with that single pivot, but we changed it pretty quickly. So um, we just wanted to isolate the, the space either side of there, number four, um, because we thought if we made them spaces bigger, we could cause him uh, cause him more problems, especially when he's on a booking. Um, but the whole team, you, you know, everybody says clean sheets are up for the goalkeeper in the back four, but you see the way that we press from the front. So the amount of times that the defenders have to defend is a lot lower because of the job that the, the front players are doing. And a run of results that's been achieved under difficult circumstances when you think of the miles that have been covered in the early mornings as well. Yeah, I do think at times, sometimes we look a little bit leggy today, um, which is understandable. Um, but we've got a squad. I think we're going to have to start utilising the squad against Oldham because, again, it's a long journey. The, the Saturday to Tuesday recovery is a lot shorter than the Tuesday to Saturday recovery, if you know what I mean. So um, we, we have to think, but... Um, everybody's performing well the standard of training at the moment with the lads that are not playing is exceptionally high so I think if you're a club and you want to be successful the players that you're that are not in your squad or not in your, your starting 11 their training intensity the level they train at it has a knock-on effect upwards so um, the fact that they're training really well is putting starting 11 in good stead and your former club are battling hard at the wrong end of the table Again, it's not for me to speak about. Oldham have got into a situation, it's been happening for a number of years at the club where I was part of that at the very start. Um, it's not ideal, but I have to say that if, he, if they're going to get out of it, they've not got no one any, any better than John Sheridan. Along with Tommy Wright, two people that I know and I respect. And um, listen, I think, I hope that Oldham get out of it. Were there any injuries from today's game? Uh, no. Um, at the moment, every time Hector makes a tackle, he seems to be injured. I don't know whether that's he just wants to lie down for a minute so everybody sees it. it's him that's made the tackle um, or he's actually genuinely hurt. He seems to get a knock and then he comes through the radio and no, he's fine, so he might even need a rest. But no, I thought Hector was really good again. Um, in terms of any injuries, no, we're all good. So again, 